from baseball diamond to business empire. The journey from the sports field to the business world is often unexpected, but it can be incredibly rewarding. Brandon, 31, traded his baseball bat for a broom. He wasn't just sweeping floors, he was sweeping away old notions of what success looks like. Not just any broom, mind you. This was a symbol of his new venture, a tool that would help him carve out a new path. This broom was attached to a street sweeper, a machine that would become the cornerstone of his burgeoning business. He bought a street sweeping business, $60,000, seller financed. It was a bold move, but Brandon saw potential where others saw risk. Now it rakes in $75,000 a month. Home run, his investment paid off, turning a modest purchase into a lucrative enterprise. This isn't a story about cleaning streets, it's about transforming challenges into opportunities. It's about cleaning up in business. Brandon's story is a testament to the power of vision and determination. It's about taking risks, seeing opportunities, and swinging for the fences. Just like in baseball, business requires courage and a willingness to take chances. Brandon saw a dusty road and paved it with gold. This is a blueprint. His journey offers a roadmap for aspiring entrepreneurs, a guide for anyone who wants to build their own empire. Whether you're starting with a broom or a business plan, the principles are the same. Even if you've never swung a bat or pushed a broom, it's about the hustle, the relentless drive to succeed no matter the odds, the grit, the vision. This is about entrepreneurship. It's about freedom, the freedom to create, to innovate, and to lead. It's about taking control of your financial destiny. Brandon's story shows that with the right mindset, financial independence is within reach. It's about building something from nothing, from a single street sweeper to a thriving business, the journey is as important as the destination. It's about leaving your mark on the world. Every entrepreneur has the potential to make a lasting impact, one swept street at a time. Each small success builds towards a greater legacy, proving that no dream is too big if you're willing to work for it. Imagine this, heartbreak, betrayal, the urge to wallow, the feeling of your world crumbling down around you, leaving you in a pit of despair? But what if you channeled that energy into something productive, something powerful? What if, instead of letting the pain consume you, you used it as fuel to ignite a fire within you, something like a multi-million dollar business, a venture that not only brings financial success but also personal triumph? Meet Sarah, dumped, devastated, determined. She was at her lowest but she refused to stay there. She didn't cry into a pint of ice cream. She didn't let herself be consumed by sorrow. Instead, she fired up her laptop. She decided to take control of her destiny. She had a skill, a passion for design and a burning desire to prove her ex wrong. She knew she had the talent and now she had the motivation. Sarah launched an online design agency. It was a bold move, but she was ready to take the risk. She hustled. She networked. She reached out to potential clients and collaborators building a strong foundation for her business. She poured her heart and soul into her work. Late nights, early mornings, every moment was dedicated to her vision. And guess what? She succeeded, big time. Her business flourished, surpassing even her wildest dreams. Her success wasn't just about the money. It was about something much deeper. It was about reclaiming her power. It was about finding her strength and realizing her worth. It was about proving to herself and maybe just a little bit to her ex what she was capable of. She looked back at her past not with regret but with a sense of triumph. Revenge is a dish best served with a side of financial freedom. And Sarah? She savored every bite. She found joy, fulfillment, and a new sense of purpose. Her journey wasn't just about getting back at her ex, it was about discovering herself. Now, Sarah's story inspires others. She shows that with determination and hard work, you can turn your pain into power and your heartbreak into success. So the next time life knocks you down, remember Sarah. Remember that you have the power to rise, to transform, and to thrive. Because revenge, when served with a side of cash, is not just sweet, it's empowering. Freedom's just a business away. Financial independence, flexibility, growth, these aren't just buzzwords, they're the pillars of entrepreneurship. They're the reasons why people like Brandon and Sarah ditch the 9 to 5 and forge their own paths. Financial independence isn't about being rich, it's about having control over your income. It's about not relying on a paycheck from someone else. It's about building your own security. Flexibility is about setting your own hours, working from anywhere, taking a vacation when you want, not when your boss allows it. 
It's about living life on your own terms. Growth isn't just about your bank account. It's about personal development. It's about learning new skills, facing challenges, and becoming the best version of yourself. It's about the journey. Brandon didn't know anything about street sweeping. He knew baseball. He knew hard work. He knew how to spot an opportunity. That's all he needed. He saw an aging workforce in the streets sweeping industry. He saw businesses ripe for the taking. He saw a chance to build something big. He took a swing. He bought the business for a steal, $60,000, seller financed. He learned the ropes on the job. He made mistakes. He learned from them. He hustled. He grew the business from $15,000 a month to $75,000 a month. He didn't just sweep streets, he swept the competition. He became the king of clean. He built an empire one sweep at a time. Section 5. Strategic Shifts. Hitting a grand slam in business. So Brandon started small, parking lots, small businesses. Then he realized something. Bigger clients meant bigger contracts, HOAs, cities, game changer. He shifted his focus. He targeted larger clients. He secured higher value contracts. He streamlined his operations. He reduced his administrative burden. This wasn't just about making more money. It was about building a sustainable business. It was about creating long-term value. It was about playing the long game. This strategic shift was a grand slam. It catapulted his business to the next level. It solidified his position in the market. It proved the power of adaptability. Section 6, Financial Freedom's Finest Hour Tips and Tricks. In this section, we will delve into some of the most effective strategies to achieve financial independence and secure your future. Want to be financially free? It all starts with a mindset shift. You need to believe that financial freedom is possible and commit to making it happen. Here's the secret. Spend less than you earn. Invest the difference. Repeat. It's not rocket science, it's common sense. But how do you put this into practice? Start by tracking every penny you spend. This will give you a clear picture of where your money is going and where you can cut back. But common sense isn't always common practice. Many people struggle with managing their finances because they don't have a plan. Without a plan, it's easy to get off track. We get caught up in the rat race. We work long hours, chase promotions, and try to keep up with the Joneses. But this lifestyle can lead to burnout and financial stress. We buy things we don't need. We accumulate debt. Credit cards can be a useful tool, but they can also be a trap if not used wisely. High interest rates can quickly turn small purchases into large debts. We sabotage our own financial futures. Stop it. Track your spending. Create a budget. Live below your means. Invest wisely. Diversify your portfolio. A well-diversified portfolio can help protect you from market volatility and ensure steady growth over time. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversification is key to managing risk and maximizing returns, unless it's a really big basket and it's filled with money. But even then, it's wise to spread your investments across different asset classes, and it's filled with money. Building an emergency fund is also crucial. This fund will provide a financial cushion in case of unexpected expenses or job loss. Financial freedom isn't about being a millionaire. It's about having choices. It's about being able to make decisions based on what you want, not what you have to do. It's about having the freedom to pursue your passions. Whether it's traveling the world, starting a business, or spending more time with family, financial freedom gives you the flexibility to live life on your terms. It's about living life on your own terms. So start today. Take control of your finances and work towards the freedom you deserve. Section 7. Acquisition and growth building your dream team. Brandon didn't just buy a business, he bought a platform for growth. He saw the potential. He saw the opportunity to scale. He saw the future. He expanded his fleet of trucks. He hired more employees. He invested in new technology. He built a team. He built a dream team. He didn't just acquire a business. He acquired a family, a group of people dedicated to his vision, a group of people working together to achieve a common goal. Growth isn't just about numbers, it's about people. It's about building a strong team. It's about creating a culture of success. It's about empowering others. Section eight, competitive edge standing out from the crowd. What makes Brandon's business different? Why choose him over the competition? Simple, reliability, customer service, relationships. He doesn't just sweep streets, he builds connections. He understands that business is about people. 
It's about building trust. It's about exceeding expectations. It's about going the extra mile. He doesn't just offer a service. He offers a solution. He solves problems. He makes life easier for his clients. He makes them happy. He stands out from the crowd because he cares. He cares about his clients. He cares about his employees. He cares about his business. That's his competitive edge. Section 9. Pricing Strategies, Striking Gold Brandon doesn't just guess at prices. He does his research. He analyzes the competition. He calculates his costs. He understands his profit margins. He knows his worth. He uses a variety of pricing strategies. Competition-based pricing, hourly rates, value-based pricing. He adapts his pricing to the specific client and the specific project. He doesn't just charge what he thinks he can get away with. He charges what he deserves. He charges what his services are worth. He charges what the market will bear. He strikes gold by finding the sweet spot between profitability and affordability. He finds the perfect balance between value for his clients and value for his business. 